little information about motors. This motor is an outdoor condenser fan motor. This motor is an indoor blower motor, as you can tell by the mountings on it. This motor is brand new. This is an old motor that's bad. The way that you can identify a bad motor when the bearings are out, if you'll notice, both motors spin equally free. This motor has no movement side to side in the shaft. This motor has a little bit of movement side to side in the shaft. The bearings are out of this motor, so it had to be replaced. The outdoor fan motor will have a condenser fan blade on it. You have a flat spot on the shaft for the uh, set screw and the fan blade to tighten. The reason you want to do it on the flat spot is, as you can see with this motor, the flat spot has a, a raised place in it and that's where the set screw was tightened. It creates a burr on this shaft. If it's on the outside where the blower wheel fits tight, you won't be able to remove the blower wheel. You always want to make sure you get whatever you're tightening down tightened on the flat spot of that shaft. When changing the fan blade, sometimes it can be difficult to get the existing fan blade off. The best thing to do is squirt some penetrating oil around the outside of this. If there's any shaft showing, make sure all the rust is sanded off of it. Let it soak a few minutes, take a crescent wrench, tighten it down on the flat spot of the shaft. You can kind of pull up on the blade and wiggle the shaft and that blade should slide right off. When identifying the fan blade, it's always best to supply the model number, serial number, all the information from the nomenclature. This is a nameplate for a motor. This is an outdoor motor we're looking at. As you can see it has a part number right here. That's a carrier part number. This, manu this part is manufactured for Carrier Corporation by GE or Gentech. This number right here is the GE number which is used in-house. It's not used for identification purposes of this motor. It's used strictly in-house at GE Gentech. What you're worried about when you change this motor, your concern should be the horsepower and the RPM and the rotation. But the best way to identify the motor is to call us with the model number of the unit. If it's an indoor unit, we'll need the model number of the indoor unit. If it's for the outdoor unit, we will need the model number off of that outdoor unit. You can give us a call or shoot us an email and we will identify the correct motor for you.